Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ali's at Gaming Time. Ah, oh, so this is the second episode I filmed in a day because new Battlefront 2 stuff has actually come out. And this is the community calendar for October. Let's take a look at it. I love that they bring this back from like, you know, remember the last Jedi season? Anyway, so, uh, the first one that it looks like is the Battle Point event, Heroes Unleashed. <laughs> Force Unleashed. Um, it's Heroes vs. Freelance meets Galactic Assault in the first Battle Point event of October. During this weekend, Heroes in Galactic Assault will be 75% off their normal cost. With up to eight heroes per side available at any given time. I'm a bit scared about this one. Fast spawn event. For one weekend, we are removing the spawn time and galactic assault about strike. So players can get right back into the action as soon as get, they get taken out. It will be the battle of, I can't read that, and ex Spearing and escaping difficulty against the effective spawn squad spawns. Battle points FM reinforcements. Reinforcement troopers will be available in Galactic Soul and Extraction for 75% of the normal cost. I feel like Extraction Hero Starfighters are no longer limited time. Hero, uh, sorry. Halloween event night mode. To go alongside this double XP event, all game modes will feature the night only maps Kashyyyk, uh, Kem Camino, Naboo, Endor, uh, and Tatooine, Jabba's Palace, and the Death Star 2. From Friday the 26th through Wednesday the 31st. I like that they're doing that. Halloween event double XP. Star Wars Path want to celebrate Halloween with a double XP weekend. This will take place on Friday the 26th through Sunday the 28th. General Grievous update. General Grievous arrives and sells Path on 2 this October. Clone War ever. Playlist. To give players even more choices to play the newly released General Grievous, we're bringing back the Clone War era playlist for Heroes vs. Villains and Heroes Showdown, uh, whatever, for a limited time. What's happening this month? Hero, Hero Health Cards, General Grievous Update, General Grievous Deep Dive, so that's going to be a new community transmission and the world map which we've already looked at and these are just events um, if they can do this in December and maybe I double it then I don't know I feel that'd be good now I do agree that they are using old images like I wouldn't say the one the August image is old like the grievous one has been there since like November but I'm hoping that they do make some new promotional pictures for um, this month's um, content. I'm just hoping we get something new with Grievous, um, but I feel like that may not come this week. Uh, so we've already got two things, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, by this time, people have looked at the Battlefront 2 world map and said that they're just basically disappointed with everything, and I, I could understand that, but I'm guessing the new large scale game mode is taking some time, so that's why they can't do stuff in December. I'm guessing if they do do stuff in December, then I'm guessing the content in February possibility could get pushed back into April um, or even March. It's just a bit of a thought, but try not to be disappointed, guys. Try and appreciate it, and let's just take it one month ahead. But again, the Battlefront 2 community loves to moan about stuff, even when we're getting grievous and some changes to heal health cards at the end of this month. You guys are great, honestly. <laughs> uh, I will say though, if General Grievous does get delayed, then you better, guys, you better moan the hell out of that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I can't wait until Grievous arrives. I've been really excited for this for a very long time. Anyway, 
Peace guys, see ya, and may the force be with you.